For Catholic monks, life is simple among the silence, solitude, and prayer of the Benedictine Hermitage. But the winter storms brought landslides and road washouts, in part making life among the monks a little simpler. The life got a little quieter. There was less staff around, of course, no guests around. We could all eat around one table. But with Highway 1 washed out just to the north and south of the Hermitage, that meant no deliveries, no propane or diesel to power the place of worship. For months, the monks had to get creative on how they survived. We evacuated some of the elders and about half of the staff so we could cut down as much as possible on you know, cooking, showers, heat, everything like that. We also had to trim down on our electricity because our generators run by diesel fuel. The Hermitage also took a huge financial hit because visitors seeking spiritual retreats could not book stays, which is the biggest source of income for the Hermitage. It was, it was challenging. I'd say, uh, you know, uh, if you could think of your own personal budgets and it being cut in half suddenly for one month, for several months, how would you pay rent? How would you pay your insurance? All those things. Uh, we also had to lay off staff. Uh, which was hard for me to do, but it had to be done. But with parts of the Big Sur coast now partially opened, so too is the new Camaldoli Hermitage for those seeking their own bit of silence and solitude. You're making a, a pilgrimage to a place of respite and spiritual retreat, and that's what you can meditate on as you drive down the highway to get into that mood and change from city mode to spiritual nature mode. If you plan on making the pilgrimage to the Hermitage, keep in mind that you can only gain access from the Carmel side of Highway 1 between the hours of 9 and 4 p.m. daily. Reporting from the Hermitage in Big Sur, I'm Felix Cortez, KSBW Action News 8.